Some satellite images are giving us this unbelievable view of those western wildfires and the hurricane. Look at this. You can see the smoke from the west has now reached the east coast and the haze of smoke is covering much of our country. Now we've seen that impact here over the last few days and now to the hurricane Sally is expected to make landfall over the next few hours. This view from above here really helps you understand the scope. This storm system is impacting a good portion of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi and portions of Louisiana. So Sean, we're talking about the western wildfires and the smoke and now this hurricane. Is Indiana going to see much of an effect from either of these? Uh, well, definitely the smoke. Now we should point out about the smoke, Scott. It, it, it's thousands of feet above uh, ground. So it's not more of an air quality issue. It's more of a uh, visibility issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's been pushing it from the west all the way toward the east coast will eventually push Sally away from us once the jet stream starts to take more of a dive later this week. Now, speaking of Sally, we told you at the top of the show, should come on shore, at least the center, overnight and very early in the morning. Now, watch the upper level wind that I'm showing you on the map here. It starts to become more northwesterly, so that will keep all the rain from Sally away from us. That's one impact for us. The second, more notable perhaps, is going to be the chill that it delivers as we get started on what will be an amazing autumn weekend here in central Indiana, but some may say it's going to be a little too chilly. Our average low is 55. We had 57. Uh, or I should say our average low is 57. We had 55 this morning. We're going to be in the lower 40s heading into Friday morning. So, and that's going to be more like mid-October uh, versus mid-September. Out the door tomorrow morning, ranging anywhere from 50 to 55. And you'll notice later in the afternoon, we, we peak out low 80s. So this will be the warmest day that we're going to have probably over the next seven, the way it looks. Going into Thursday, the front that cools us down has the slightest of chances of bringing in a shower as it pushes through, but there's not a lot of moisture. Behind that front, going into Friday morning, there you go. Low 40s, dust off the sweatshirts and the fire pits as we get into the weekend here. Look at the string of sunshine, and I wish we had some rain. We need it, but... We're going to enjoy what we have here, and that's some autumn weather for the weekend.